Hey there guys, happy Thursday. Um, I am going to do, a lot of you thought that it looked like Ocean Jasper. Um, it kind of looks like this. I'm going to do the same colors and everything for you guys today. I did a purple one yesterday that got a lot of attention. I appreciate that. That one looked like this. This is just a piece I haven't done anything with yet. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I have a couple things that I've already done here. Um, these three pieces are translucent, Primo translucent. There is some stuff in there, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Um, ugh, now I have glitter on there. Um, these are rolled out onto a two. This is a piece of black and white. And what I did is I started with um, a piece of black, a piece of white, both rolled out onto a two. And then I put them together and rolled both of them out onto a two as one unit. So that's this. So the colors I have are, I have red, vermilion, and coffee. So I'm going to paint each of these. Excuse me. I'm just going to drip this on there and then paint these. This is the vermilion. Just get a nice coat on there. I think that's good for that one. And then red. This is a funky red. It almost has like, I don't know. It has like a gold in it. It's kind of weird, but it works. Well, today it looks exactly like the vermilion, so I don't know what's happening now. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then coffee. Okay, let these dry up a little bit. I hope this comes out well because lately I make something and then you guys like it and want the tutorial and then I go to make it again and it turns out like poo. So hopefully this will turn out nice today. Let this dry a little bit. Make sure it's good and dry before you start with the rest of the stuff. I love my little fan. First of all, it keeps me cool out in the garage in Florida. <laughs> and then I can also use it to Dry my paint.
Okay, I think we're good. So I'm going to have the two reds on the outside, the coffee in the middle. And then I place the black and white on the top with the white facing up. And I'm going to roll it. First, I'm going to press it a little bit. Then I'm going to roll it out. Cut it in half. And then just flip it over like this. You want the colors to still be going the same direction. Roll it again. Cut again. And roll again. Now the way that I get my um, cool designs so I only cut twice just so we're clear on that um, what I do is I take a, <clears throat> a dotting tool I have a whole set of these I have all different sizes but I'm taking the big the biggest one that I have here I'm gonna roll this out just a little more just a little more like that. Okay. and then I press in all over And then you can do a couple of smaller ones. I'm going to do this size, just kind of in between. I don't do a lot of the smaller ones, just a few. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, oh, these are dirty. Sorry, guys. You're going to smush these together to form a little cube. You want them smushed all the way so that you don't see any more of the divots that you just made. I like to do it with these because it's easier. Plus, you kind of want to keep the suction on the, um, on the tile for a little bit. So just keep pressing in on the sides and then every once in a while just kind of smoosh the top like that. Until you get a cube like this and then I like to turn it over and smoosh it down so that you really get that top smushed in. You can see maybe the holes have gone almost all the way through. So then just just keep going until you get a Nice little square and everything's all smushed in and nice. 
and then we're going to cut into it. I'm going to let that rest for just about 15 minutes, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back. It's had a little bit of time to rest and settle. So we're going to go ahead and slice into this. And we're going to do regular makumagane. Just slice it. It's still a little bit soft, but... We'll do our best. I didn't get the nice um, uh, whole layers like I got with the other one the other day that made it look like Ocean Jasper, but this will have to do. It still looks neat. So I'm saying it's always different. I'll just slice into these. The browns and everything look really pretty though. I think I like that side. You gotta decide which side you like. So sometimes it helps if you wipe off in between each each slice that way you have a fresh fresh blade to work with Ugh. There we go, we got some of the circles going now. A little bit deeper in here. Like that, there we go. I had a bunch of people say they thought it looked like ocean jasper. So now I need to do one in a in green because then that'll really look like that. Especially that piece right there. Yep. Do one more slice. Okay, that's good. All right, perfect. So I'm going to slip these through on a three just to get them a little flattened out so that they're nice. Some of the thicker ones, this one's thicker. And unfortunately, sometimes it does distort a little bit, but... I'm going to leave that one. I think I'm going to separate these. I'll do the ones with the nice round pieces and then the brainy looking ones I'll do something else with. Because those are super cool too. 
So I have um, another translucent rolled out onto a two here. And as like always, I'm just gonna place Uh, all around. I don't mind if they overlap. For my purposes, you can do whatever you'd like. And just cover it unless you want some pieces of, um, of the translucent to show again whatever your preference I'll roll it out a little bit and then I'm going to roll this out onto a one and then I might take it down to a two if it doesn't distort too much so let me see do the one I think we're gonna stay with the one so that's how the veneer is gonna look and then cut your shapes and i already have an idea of what i'm doing <clears throat> with this i'm gonna do something cool i got a an eyelet um kit i guess this is kind of a twofer but i got eyelets in the little eyelet thing uh let's see That looks cool. And then I'm just gonna do some earrings. I like this little area. I should probably make some beads because why not? So I'll just do some little beads in here. Just do a couple. Okay. So that's good for now. Cute little beads. Roll these up. I have, I, I got one of my tools yesterday to drill beads. Um, and I tried it and it's, um, it's okay. There's a bead. Um, but I'm excited for the other one to come and then I'm going to do a comparison. I'll probably do a video comparison, um, when that comes in and I try it out. So a couple beads. Super cute. And then some earrings. Those are cool too. Look at that. This one's neat. You can really see the layers in that one. And then with this, I'm gonna fix it up. And my new toy, let me decide. I think I wanna put it up here. So I'm gonna take my little, uh, it's either called an eyelet or a grommet. I think it's called an eyelet. But I'm gonna press it in here. Sorry about my head, guys. I'm gonna press it in. I'm gonna lift it back up, make sure it goes all the way through. Poke out to the middle. And then with this, 
You literally just set it in there. If you put it in like that, make sure you have the right side. And when you press down, it folds around the back. So like that. So it'll stay in there. You might have to reshape a little bit, but it's okay. But that's, I hope that you saw that and was in frame. <laughs> um, I get excited and I go out of frame and I'm sorry about that guys, but that's how that is. Super easy. And I will put a link to this. It was not expensive at all. It was, um, I don't actually remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive. So, but it looks cool. It looks finished and I'll just put a, um, a jump ring in there, make a necklace with it. So I will go ahead and bake these. And then I will be back to show you what it looks like. So see you soon. Okay, guys, we're all done. So I went ahead and um, fixed these up, resin them and everything, made this one a little necklace. But you can see how it looks. So pretty. Um, I don't. I don't think I made the heart. I did it. I smushed everything back together, and I made these two that I'll make some pendants with. And then here, I made these with that brainy looking type that was coming off at first. And then I made these while the video was going. So there you have it. Um, don't forget the June specials on my website. Everything is $10. These will all be up there uh, later today. That you can purchase um, and the $15 for five pieces of jewelry mystery mixes um, that's at treysclay.com t-r-e-y-s clay.com I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and you'll see me Monday bye